Hi guys, welcome to my channel, The Cutting Edge. If you found out the video after watching it, then please like it. If you think it is a good content, then please share the video. If you want to get more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel. If I missed something, you want to tell something, write your opinions in the comment box below. Thank you. Let's start today's video. In this video, we will show you a brief comparison between celebration of India's most awaited festival, Makara Sankranti, on those days nothing but a 50 years back and present and future nothing but a 50 years after. And we will also provide you some relevant comparisons in behavior of children, adults and old age people while celebrating the festival Makara Sankranti. Before entering into the topic, first of all, we want to know some basic questions regarding the Makara Sankranti. First one is why it is Makara Sankranti? Next one is history of Makara Sankranti. Third one is how it is celebrated. First, I go with the question why it is Makara Sankranti. It is a two main word question. One resembles Makara and second one resembles Sankranti. Makara. Makara means if you are familiar with astrology, astrology is mainly based on 12 Judaic signs. Among 12 Judaic signs, Makara is one. And next one is Sankranti. Sankranti is nothing but sun movement from one Judak sign to another Judak sign. The combined meaning of Makara Sankranti means sun enters into Makara sign. The general meaning of Makara Sankranti means from this day onwards sun's starts his movement from Uttaram to Darshanam. History of Makara Sankranti Festival As we are all Indians, we think that it is related to a harvest festival. Yes, it is absolutely right and there are some stories resembling that it is a harvest festival. Once upon a time, Lord Shiva asked his bull Baswa go to the earth and ask humans to have a bath every day and eat once in a month. But the bull Baswa confusingly answered in a reverse direction, eat every day and have a bath once in a month. This statement by bull Baswa makes more angry to the Shiva and punished him to banishing on the earth ever forever. However, this punishment on bull Baswa by the Lord Shiva is more advantageous to the human beings because by the use of bulls only, the human beings are cultivating their lands and producing their foods. And there is also some other stories relating to the celebration of Makar Sankranti festival. Once upon a time, Lord Durga Mata, for the purpose of killing Mahishasura, who is a Asura, for the first time he put her feet on the earth on the day Makara Sankranti. And there are certain beliefs also regarding the celebration of Makara Sankranti festival. If you see in the epic Mahabharatam, Bhishma Patimam, who is willing to die waiting for the sun arrival in the Uttarayanam. The belief in the story is if you die on the day of Makara Sankranti, you will not reborn, you directly go to the Moksham. How it is celebrated? The festival is celebrated for three days. The days are named as first day Bogi, second day which is the main festival, the name 
itself implies is makara sankranti and the third day kanuma first of all bogi bogi is a festival celebrated widely in andhra pradesh and telangana on the day of bogi people discard old things and concentrate on new things causing changes on the day people light a bonfire with logs of wood other solid fuels and wooden furniture at home that are no longer in use next day we celebrate makara sankranti on the day of makara sankranti people wake up in early in the morning and having a bath and wearing a new clothes in order to worship their ancestors and given new clothes to the people who are working in their homes and offering dinner or lunch or breakfast to the newly married couples in their relatives also on the day of makara sankranti we have seen a huge variety of food items in order to worship their loved beloved and sisters third day we celebrate it as a kanuma on the day of kanuma people worship their cattle and most of all the people in ap and telangana eat huge meat on the day of kanuma now we will show you some images or some videos regarding the behavior of children adults and old age people while celebrating the festival in those days present and future in past days on the day of bogi people wake up early in the morning and lighting up a small fire in front of their homes and sitting around it present days on the day of bogi people wake up in at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock and thinking that it is a early in the morning and going directly into the kitchen and lighting their stove and sitting around it to reduce the coldness especially present days youth purchasing more and more wood from timber shops and lighting it before the bogi arrives and it continues to fire for 2 to 3 days even some places maybe in future we can expect it. the firing will take place for 15 to 16 days also before the day the day of bogi next haridaslu i think we have all seen haridaslu in movies also in past days we have haridaslu but present trend is all our watching more movies so we have seen more number of devatas lu in societies maybe in future we can expect birdas lu and the next one is kites in those days on the day of makar sankranti we can see a thousands of kites which are flying in the sky but in present days we can see very few in the sky but i think my prediction in future we can see a flying kite in zoo or in museum next one is next one is mango leaves i think we are all familiar with mango leaves because we have seen it anywhere in day to day lives and when there is a festival comes or there is any occasion in your homes first we usually hangs mango leaves to our doors but as the technology increases development takes place present days we are purchasing it from market maybe in future some of the e-line commercial markets like amazon flipkart snapdeal will do deliver mango leaves to our homes we can expect it it's my prediction next one is cooking in those days when we are going to worship our ancestors we make variety of dishes and place it in front of the photo frame of our ancestors and worship present days as most of the the women does not like to cook therefore in mostly homes 
they are not preparing food they are ordering from the hotels and worshiping their ancestors maybe in future we can expect some of the sites will come to the society and some of the people come to our homes and they will make the details of our ancestors if you paid money they will make the food and they will worship to our ancestors without any work to us involvement in the festival on those days the people who are away from their homes come to their homes regularly on every festival and making the big celebrations on the festival by preparing the food by themselves and eating food by sitting together and getting more fun and happiness as technology increases globalization also increases as globalization increases human beings towards earning of money is also increases because of this most of the people does not visit their homes on festival seasons also therefore the individual happiness are increasing more and more but the family happiness are decreasing day by day maybe in future we can see a person will get happiness only when he scores high score in temple run game or whether he builds a kingdom in clash of clans game 